Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've gotten quite a few requests for more like easy sewing tutorials, so that's what I have for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute Benny Ear hair scrunchies, which I've been loving lately. So um, when I say easy, I really mean like these are so easy to make. You don't have to know very much about a sewing machine at all to make these, which is great. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, on learning how to make these cute little guys, then keep on watching. Okay, so I brought my sewing machine up with me. Um, okay, so to start, obviously you need fabric. You can honestly make a scrunchie out of any type of fabric that you want to. Um, the last time I was at the fabric store, I just found this kind of thicker knit um, crushed velvet fabric that I thought would be super cute, especially for fall, for a scrunchie. So I picked this up and um, the first thing that you want to do is cut just a large rectangle out of your fabric. And if you want my measurements exactly, this is kind of trial and error. I didn't have a pattern to go off of, I just kind of made it up. Uh, so you could have a personal preference that's not like this so that's up to you but if you want my measurements let me see my rectangle is about 17 yeah about 18 inches long and then I'm actually gonna do this a little skinnier this time having already made these I like it a little bit skinnier so I'll say 18 inches long and maybe like three inches um, wide. So 18 and 18 by 3 is my measurements for my piece of fabric, the rectangle. And so this is going to be your main scrunchy piece. And we'll do the bunny ears parts in a minute. Um, so the first thing that you want to do with your rectangle is fold it in half long ways and um, right sides together so it should be the back of the fabric showing on the outside and you're going to just sew a straight line all the way down except you're going to leave about an inch um, so start like an inch down and then leave an inch at the bottom as well okay so here is my here is my rectangle, um, sewn all the way down with an inch on both sides left open. And now I need, I should have gathered all my stuff before I started this video. Uh, now you need a safety pin. Okay, so with your safety pin, you're going to just pick a side and put it through the very top. And you're going to push that side through. So you're like folding this strip in half. So don't pull your rectangle um, all the way inside out. We're going to stop when it reaches the end right here so that it's pretty much folded in half. Okay, so if you can see, I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I just pretty much folded it in half. Um, so I'm going to line up these two ends, take the safety pin out. Okay, so I'm going to take these two end pieces that are now uh, next to each other. I'm going to put them right sides together. And if you need more space to work with it, just cut um, a little bit of the first hem that you made just to give me some more room to work with this. Um, so you're going to line the two end pieces up and then you're gonna sew a line across that. Okay, so after you have sewn those two pieces together, and we do this just because it makes the finished product look nicer, in my opinion. Um, so after you finish that, then out of the um, sides that we left open when we first sewn it up, you can pull the whole thing through 
to make the loop. And so now it's the right side um, out. And right here is where we just um, we just sewn around. Uh, so it just makes it look a little nicer. Okay, so this will be our scrunchie. So the next step is you need some elastic. And I got, um, I think this is one fourth of an inch elastic. Yeah, this is a one fourth of an inch elastic. And I, when I did it, I just kind of measured my wrist and cut it to where I kind of wanted it to be. You obviously want it to hold well on your wrist. So I have found that like six inches is a good um, length for me. So if you want to do six inches, it'll probably be good for you too. So just cut six inches of elastic. Then using your safety pin again, I'm just going to put it in one side of the elastic and through the side that's still open, I'm just going to string this through my scrunchie, making sure that this end piece doesn't go all the way through too. Uh, if anyone has like a good trick on how to make sure that doesn't happen, let me know, because right now I just put it in my teeth. <laughs> that's probably gross, I don't know. Maybe everyone does that, maybe nobody does it. I don't know, but if you have a trick on like how you hold on to the end piece, let me know, but I'm going to put it in my teeth because that's just what I do. <laughs> okay, so now I have the elastic through both sides of the scrunchie and now you're just going to sew the elastic in place. Um, you can use your sewing machine. For some reason I have a really hard time um, getting it nice and neat and like straight when I try to do that. Um, so I just hand sew it, but you can do either one. So I'm just gonna take my needle and quickly put a few stitches in so that this will stay together. Okay, so my elastic is in place and now you can just kind of um, fix the scrunchie how you would like it. Um, and then the side that's open, now I'm just going to top stitch that closed on my sewing machine. You can hand stitch it and do like a slip stitch so you can't see the stitching, but it honestly it doesn't bother me. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a top stitch because that is faster and easier. So I'm just gonna close it up with my fingers and then go through go over it um, with my sewing machine. Okay, so your main scrunchie part is done. So you can be finished right now if you don't want the bunny ears on it. Um, you can just have a cute scrunchie now. Uh, isn't that so easy? It seriously takes like only a few minutes to make. Um, but if you do want the bunny ears, and these bunny ears are detachable, so you can have them on your scrunchie when you want them and you can take them off when you don't. Um, okay, so if you want to learn how to make the Benny ears, this is how you do it. <laughs> so like I said, everything that I did, I just kind of made up. I didn't really follow a pattern. So the Benny ears are one thing that uh, I probably should have had a pattern for, but I didn't. I just kind of made my own. So this may be kind of hard to explain the dimensions. So I'm going to try to find, I'm sure there's a tutorial out there on some blog that has like a printable pattern uh, that you can print out and use. Um, I don't have one, so I'm just going to tell you how I made it. It, it really is not that hard if you just want to like make it up. Um, but basically, you need two strips of fabric that um, has a kind of a line in the middle, and then they like bulb out and then taper at the ends on both sides. Uh, so if you want to use my dimensions, let me see, the whole thing is about 8 inches in length. Um, and then I, I honestly just like traced on a piece of paper the outline. I actually like had it like this. Um, so I traced out just like 
this bunny ear pattern on paper, cut it out, and then I traced it onto my fabric and cut two of them out. Anyway, you'll need two of these, um, so I'm just going to put right sides together and you're just going to sew all the way around, leaving on one of, si one of the sides in the middle. Just leave a little space so that we can um, turn it the right side, uh, the right side out. Um, so yeah, just uh, put right sides together of these little bunny ears and sew all the way around. Okay, so everything's sewn around. I, le I left a little opening in this middle here and I'm just going to use, where is it? I usually have like a chopstick that I use to uh, do this, but I'm just going to push the little bunny ears out through the hole and turn this the right side. The good thing about using like a velvety material too is that you don't really need to iron it down at the end. If you're using like a cotton or something more lightweight, you'll probably need to iron the bunny ears down at the end just to make sure it stays in like that shape, which isn't a big deal. <laughs> it takes like two seconds to iron it down. But I'm just saying if you have like a thicker material, it kind of keeps its shape well anyway. Okay, so there's one side. And you can iron this fabric down too if you want to, just like gently. Um, but yay! Okay, so here are your bunny ears. You can top stitch the inside of this too if you want to. I feel like you honestly don't need to because that's where the tie is, so you're not going to see the opening anyway. Um, but what I like to do is I like to tie this around where we did the top stitch on the scrunchie just to kind of hide it a little more. So I'm just going to put it around, tie it around once, make a little knot, ah, and your scrunchie has cute little bunny ears. Yay! <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's basically it. It's a super easy tutorial, but it's super fun to make. Um, so go to your fabric store, see what fun fabrics they have and make yourself a whole bunch of scrunchies. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave any suggestions for future videos down below and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.